okay. Freaking out right now, freaking out right now. First day, I'm on my way to the shuttle to go to my first class. And I'm actually super nervous. Well, at the moment, because I haven't taken the shuttle in a while and I didn't even check the schedule, but I see one just passed. So I probably have a good five minutes or less before the next one comes. It's probably gonna be really awkward to try to film today. It looks like overcast or something, kind of. So I got my umbrella from my car but I really hope it doesn't rain and then now it's feeling colder but I should only be there for like three hours so hopefully I'm not like super super cold my friend messaged me so I'm really excited I'm probably gonna do vertical filming because I just feel so awkward so yeah I'm gonna try to catch the next shuttle to be like literally one of the worst like freaking I guess mental days of my life or something okay so here's what happened you guys know I left for school everything was cool I'm taking these three classes whatever I already saw my advisor last semester to like sort out which classes I should take everything was sorted Yes, so I show up to my first class. I actually thought I was going to be a little bit late because I decided to take out the trash when I left and whatever. And I left like 10.05 and I probably got there like 10.37 I think because I was looking at my phone and I like sat down at 10.37 waiting for my class. So sometimes there's other classes in there so I don't always like walk in like right at the time of class so I went in at like 10 45 and class started at 11 I got there at 10 45 and everything was pretty normal shuttle was fine everything I sit down in my oh I sit down in a chair that's kind of toward the door and it's actually a classroom that I had before so I was like, cool. So I sit down. I thought it was the wrong class at first because I'm pretty sure the professor is also African American. And I was actually so surprised that there was actually an African American professor. I was like, this must be like an undergraduate class because like there's nobody in my department. I remember being like, oh my gosh, like I might have them. But it turns out like it was her class and it is also an undergraduate and graduate course so okay so the class goes well she gives me a syllabus that is separate for graduate students whereas everyone else is an undergraduate student before she did that we were just doing like little intro surveys and she was kind of getting a scope of the class and all that when I kind of walked in these two girls sat next to me, really nice, really friendly. I felt like I was in high school again for some reason. And then one of the girls walks in and she's like, you're going to be in this club with me because it's, it's basically like a black student organization. So I was like, okay, perfect. I was like, oh, I thought that was that organization was for undergraduate students. And she was like, no, anyone can join. So I was like, okay, cool. You know, it actually did feel like, you know, they were like my friends and stuff. So, um, the teacher then, like, asked, like, okay, who's a graduate student? And so it was just me, which I thought was weird. I always have to be the weirdo. And then uh, she was like, well, just so you know, you don't even look like a graduate student. You look like an undergraduate student. So I, everyone's cracking up. 
So, class was good, everything was cool. So, she told me the syllabus was different than undergraduate. So, after class, um, you know, I kind of talked a little bit with the girls who are probably going to be, you know, my new BFFs <laughs> in class. They're just so cute. They were like, okay, let me add you on Facebook, all that good stuff. Then, um, the, then the, I'm waiting for the teacher so I could ask her what's different about the syllabus. And she asked me, like, what specific emphasis I'm in. So, I'm kind of in this emphasis that's a combination of two. So, when I told her that, she was really surprised and the reason she was really surprised she was like oh well what like background do you have so i told her i have research experience but in a completely different field so then she's like oh well i'm the one who created this track and it turns out that the track is meant for people who have research experience in this field but who oh sorry 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 who have professional experience but need a little bit more honing in on the research experience so that completely shocked me because my view was that this was meant to give you an idea of both fields so that if you want to pick one you can pick one and then, like, you'll be sure. Whereas what she's saying is, it's not about me picking a field. It's about the experience I had. And it's supposed to be based on that. And she literally created this track at the school. So, basically, I'm freaking out. I'm trying to keep it together because I literally just met her, like, an hour before she told me this. So, she gives me the name for the director of the program. And... She tells me I should meet with him, and also, like, um, I'm sorry. So, after she tells me this, I go to my next class, and I don't 100% know what happened at that next class. I was, like, in another planet because I started thinking, if she's right and, like, what I'm doing makes no sense, like, basically, she's saying my research has no, like, professional authenticity basis because I don't have experience. Then that would mean I only have, like, one class that actually heads toward another field or qualifies. Okay, let's keep it together. So, I was pretty much in shock for, like, two hours so the next class, they had us introduce ourselves and stuff. That actually went way better than I thought because I honestly was almost in tears in that class. And I started getting this headache. But I started getting this headache, like, I decided after class to see if, to email the professor in case somehow by a miracle he had a free time today. Okay. But he told me, <sighs> okay, I'm sorry, that we're going to meet tomorrow morning. So, I'm really scared. I don't know why I'm really scared. I guess I'm scared that I just wasted a whole semester being tortured. But more importantly, I wasted a whole semester. Um, uh, okay, here's here's what I will say about right now it seems like everything i thought was fixed last semester is not fixed and it's just in a different form like if i was in a different track i never would have met this teacher who just took away like my soul or something this professor from last semester i wouldn't have met the crazy racist girl in my class like you know you always think what if when this stuff happens 
My friend, I saw him on the bus and he gave me the advice that like, do whatever you feel is right. But I honestly feel like no one has had my best interest in mind and I should have been paying more attention to every single thing because because I'm totally switching fields, I basically just assumed that obviously they would recommend the best place for me in the program. But now I'm starting to think that they just put me in this place so that they could have kind of a certain amount of people in this track so the other track wasn't overwhelmed. That's what I feel like is happening. So I don't know if there was a mistake. I don't know if there was a miscommunication. <sighs> Obviously I feel really stupid for maybe not even second guessing what an advisor told me because I've always second guessed what an advisor told me so I'm not sure why this time it's different. I'm gonna go through my paperwork, kind of look through. I'm honestly like my career goals have changed so much and that's one of the reasons I wanted to come to grad school but I guess I didn't think it would be this like confusing like, I didn't want to waste my time completely, which I'm not saying that's what's happening, but if I can't even get the right degree or master's, then I don't get what the point is. By the end of the last semester, I just kind of wanted to get my degree and go, so it just seems like worse and worse stuff keeps happening. To get a two year degree, like I came in here ready to work, and it just seems like <sighs> this is just ridiculous. Like, I literally came just to learn, and this is becoming so much more complicated than I could have ever imagined. Like, I've never gone through this through any, like, I don't know, I just never experienced. I don't know, it's almost like I feel like everybody is conspiring against me. My classmates, my teachers, my advisors. And let me just tell you one thing that makes me a little bit nervous about trusting anybody now. Like she kind of opened my eyes and was like, I'm going to meet with the director. And <sighs> I don't know if I should trust I'm sorry, I have a really bad headache. And I think it's because, like, I'm just, like, freaked out when she told me that. It's, like, 4 p.m. <sighs> Basically, the person I'm going to meet with tomorrow, he once confused me for somebody else and it was really awkward but it was the worst possible time he could have done it so i mean i guess i'm over that but it just kind of adds to the i can't trust anybody thing because he basically waved at me and was like saying hi to me and then like he was like oh he just thought it was like some chick some chick he actually thought I was one of the girls from the black student organization that I'm about to join. He thought I was in it and he started talking to me and halfway through the conversation we both realized that he thought I was someone else whereas I've been introduced to him a couple times because you know he's supposed to meet everyone and shake hands and all that but that it was just kind of like a cherry on top of the already like horrible like racist stuff a teacher had told me before so I'm basically gonna just try to get through tomorrow and I'm gonna try to get through right now because here I'll, I'll end this with a few things that are going through my head First of all, first of all, my computer memory is literal crap, so I'm behind on a few vlogs. 
But let me catch you up because I'm assuming I'll put the ones in order if I can fix my memory. Is one. One, I need to figure out something with my eye. I need to find an eye doctor or whatever. My eye problems kind of not ceased ever. My dad, I don't even know what's happening with my dad. He said he would move here. He hasn't visited me the whole time that he's like, that's since I've been back. And then um, also, he said he's going to move here, but not till March. I, I guess I'll take what I can get, but like, uh, whatever. I Like, this is the time where I actually need like someone to like, talk to me and tell me what to do but I guess I'll call my mom and then third I guess like I guess I'll say this situation um and then fourth I'll just say that my stalker ex just left me like another voicemail to bring like to drag my fears from last semester into this semester because last semester I thought he was actually gonna come and find me and like try to propose to me or something I didn't think he was gonna hurt me but honestly I don't know what he's capable of because I've blocked so many messages and done so many things that like it's actually scary for me to think about him like is actually scary for me to think about this so i'm just a little overwhelmed like at the end of the day my thought process is always like optimistic and it could be so much worse like i am blessed to be alive and breathing and everything it's just you can't even you can't control how you feel even if you know that it could be worse or it's been worse before so I can't control myself right now because I feel the headache is a stress headache because I don't know what else it could be but I also got a headache two days ago oh actually I got a headache was that yesterday I think I got a headache yesterday or the night before but that was the same day that my ex messaged me, so I don't know if it is the thing with my ex was stressing me out. This is stressing me out. I need to get a physical too to see if there's anything more than just I'm freaking the F out. But I'll worry about that later. And yeah, I was so then my day started out so happy and like energetic and I literally like my soul was taken today my soul was taken so I'm just gonna see what happens I'm probably gonna call my mom when she gets off work and like ask her what the hell to do because I've never run into a problem like this and that's life you run into problems and you learn it's just, you know in the moment it sucks but I know it's gotta get better you know it always does it's just you can't take yourself out of this like thing oh my god like I was having so much fun and then now I have to be all serious again Anyways, I will end this here. If I have any more information, I will let you know. I'm going to try to upload the rest of the vlogs so I don't be too behind. But yeah, bye.